Sometimes areas of an image can often require different adjustments to other areas. Therefore, by using layers and drawing on the image and creating masks, we can create a combination of adjustments that work best for the image at hand. For example, if we reset all the local adjustments on this image, we can see it before and after the adjustments. Each of the layers represent a different set of adjustments which we can preview by turning each of the layers off and then back on again. New layers to a maximum of 16 layers can be added by clicking the plus button. Layers can be named to remember their purpose and they can be removed by clicking the minus button. Clicking and holding the plus button will allow different kinds of layers to be created. For example, empty layers, filled layers, clone layers and heel layers. Masks can either be drawn with a brush or a simple gradient tool. Options to display the mask are shown below. Once the brush cursor tool is selected, to change the options, right or control click to bring up the brush settings panel. The size of the brush can simply be adjusted by dragging the slider to the left or right, and the hardness of the brush can be adjusted in the same way. The center circle shows where the opacity is at the maximum, 100, and the outer circle shows where the opacity has faded to zero. Opacity controls the maximum opacity of the brush. Lowering the opacity means that the underlying adjustment of that masked area will have a lesser impact. Finally, flow is a movement-based adjustment. By having a lower flow, it simply means that it takes more brush strokes to build up the mask to its maximum opacity. Finally, the options at the bottom allow further control of mask drawing. To draw a gradient mask, first select the gradient cursor tool. Where you start drawing, your mask will be the strongest. Where you finish drawing, the mask will have faded to zero. To keep the gradient straight, hold the shift key down to be perfectly vertical at an angle or perfectly horizontal. When you release the mouse or pen, the mask will be drawn. Press M on the keyboard to see the mask. To create less graduated masks, draw with the mask tool a shorter line. For more graduated masks, draw a longer line. Once your mask has been drawn, any adjustments can be made on the currently selected layer. The small brush icon in the tool itself simply indicates that you're adjusting something other than the background. Each layer can also have its opacity adjusted as well, giving you more control over the impact of the adjustments. Small distracting objects can easily be removed from images using layers as well. Start by choosing a new layer and choosing new heel layer. Option or alt click to pick a source point for removing your object. Then simply brush over the area to be removed and Capture One will remove it. If you right click on the repair layer, you can switch to a clone layer as well. Healing tends to do a better job as the luminosity will be matched and blended at the heal point, whereas clone is simply copying data from one part of an image to another. Further control of your layers can be found in the tool submenu. Look at the tutorial Advanced Layer Masking for more information.